1912, the brilliant German naturalist Alfred Wegener suggested that continents could derive on the surface of the Earth, like pieces of a huge raft floating on the hot pastes which exist in the depth of the Earth. A lot of people laughed at this idea till the 50s, but today everything shows that he was right. Two hundred and fifty million years ago, all the emerged lands of the Earth were united in one single continent, the Pangaea. The climate was torrid, lands were scratched by winds of sand, then a kind of wet monsoon was established, favoring the vegetation. At the same time, the volcanic activity increased, sign that the supercontinent underwent enormous strength of distortion. In the east, they caused the beginning of breaking invaded by the Tethys Sea. Here it's arriving in the area of future Mediterranean Sea, that evidently doesn't exist at the moment. Here everything is continental, the various parts of the current geography are stuck together. Africa touches Europe, Spain occupies the Bay of the sky to the French Brittany, the Atlantic Ocean is closed, North America is attached to Europe, but already as a consequence of the increasing of the Tethys Sea, the continental floor begins to oscillate. Sometimes a little deep sea invades all Europe, letting just only emerge the imported mountains, then the sea withdraws and comes back again, a deep pond gets dug in the area of current Alps, it begins to accumulate sediments which will be the material or future pre-Alps. Africa splits and starts moving to the salt, producing an increase of the Tethys Sea leaving Italy, which is only a high sea bed. The Tethys Sea painted by Olivier Bonnet. It's a huge ocean with storms and currents which influences the climate. Hundred and fifty million years ago, North America begins to split from Europe by deriving westwards. Spain passed from Brittany and turns on itself. A small bay of Biscay gets stuck and increases. Spain becomes an island alone in the Atlantic Ocean which is forming and continues to turn by coming down. A little deep sea extends from the Paris Basin to the Jura. Italy grows and goes away from Africa. Between the two countries one arm of the sea appears. It is the first sketch of the sea which will become Mediterranean. Suddenly, 65 million years ago, a terrible disaster brutally provokes the extension of dinosaurs, 80% of plankton and even 50% of invertebrates. Then Africa goes up northwards, which decreases the Tethys Sea. Spain achieves its rotation and goes up to the north, colliding with the south of France. The Pyrenees, as a result of this collision, begin to wrinkle. During this time, Italy derives towards the northeast. Corsica and Sardinia have been separated from France. Italy turns northwards and then towards northwest. Fifty million years ago, Italy goes into the Alpine Sea and the extraordinary story of the Alps begins. We need to comment on a fact which intrigued for a long time the scientists. The modern seismic shows that the coat under the superficial crust is more or less solid. Wegener's theory is shaken because it supposes that this coat is rather pasty to be submitted to the complex bubbling which we have just followed these effects on the formation of the Mediterranean. To explain this phenomenon, we have to imagine a ball of tar 
let in a cool atmosphere and put on the table. It is solid. A slight hammer blow equivalent of a seismic wave could not deform it. But let it the same place during a year, the only gravity we have deformed it. Five or ten years after, the phenomenon is much more spectacular, but tar will still be so solid. It is because it has some coefficient of flow. The underground rocks, limestone, stoneware, granite, are also characterized by, by the same coefficient. It's evidently lower than for tar, but if we substitute time unit of one year by a hundred thousand years, the result will be the same. The extraordinary story of Alps birth is the illustration of the same extremely weak and slow Earth's crust fluidity. For a better understanding, it is necessary to represent it in section and to accelerate it enormously. Here's the section. Everything begins by the rise of Italy towards Norwest. Italy pushes away the old sedimentary deposit accumulated at the bottom of the Alpine Sea above the European continent which sinks under the weight. Warning on this animation, the depths are very exaggerated. In the heart of Alps, compression is at its peak. In front, the layers of sediments undergo such a important distortion that they wrinkle by passing by on the slope and by their weight form a mollus furrow and pits of collapse which fill with a lakeside sedimentation. During the same time, a surprising episode takes place in the Mediterranean Sea. A new overhang of Africa, nor what's close, the Strait of Gibraltar. The Mediterranean separates from the Atlantic Ocean. At that time, the climate is very dry and very hot. The big rivers, Rhone, Danube and Nile, do not compensate for evaporation. In 200,000 years, the level falls of over 2,000 meters. A furrow gets dug off rivers, enormous quantities of salt settle in ocean depths. Then a small reopening of Gibraltar is dug by the erosion. It grows quickly, the water of the Atlantic Ocean passes by in the Mediterranean Sea and fills it in two years. At the same time, Alps are becoming like at present. Below the Mont Blanc, the red needles progress towards the surface. As they emerge, all the summits are affected and the result of this erosion accumulates at their feet as stiff stoneware molasses. Pre-Alps pass by slowly on the slope and spread out on a compound ground made of molasses and stiff limestone put on a salty and very moldable clay layer. These stiff limestones are pushed towards the northwest by the mass of the big depth in movement. They slide by wrinkling to form the first falls of the Jura. Marine sediments accumulated in the old sea of Tetris and which were pushed to the northwest over 140 kilometers far are called from now the Pre-Alps. It is an accumulation of wrinkled, twisted and broken geological layers which lay the one over the other. Their considerable weight provoked the sinking of the substratum and has created the lemon lake. 